Hello YouTube. This is my very first ever instructional video, so don't critique me too hard. Um, if you have one of these X5Cs, you know they're fun to fly, but the video quality isn't very good because of the jello. So one way to improve that is to balance your props. And what I'm going to do today is show you how I do it and the tools that I use to balance the props on the X5C. Okay. If you've seen one of these, you will know that these will not work. These are used for bigger props, such as the, X, the X8 and stuff. Stuff like these, these bigger props, they will not work on the X5C. So here's what I've done. I've watched a couple videos on YouTube and kind of got an idea how to do it. So one day I was walking through my big box store and I saw these surveyor flags. I'm about 10 of them for a buck and a half. So I got some of these. And then you need to take one of your motor seats like this and you need to take this little piece off right here that the prop fits onto see this one's missing I think I just pried mine off it flew across the room I had to find it but you will have to ruin one of these motor seats to do it so that's what I did I took that piece off and here it is right here Now, before I go any further, you will see that the surveyor flag will not fit into that motor seat. You need to drill that out a little bit. You don't want to go too big, just enough for it to spin around that. So I took a little drill bit and just kind of started small and uh, kept trying it until it fit. You want it to not be very loose, but enough to where it'll spin. Okay. The next thing you do, put it inside your prop. Then you slide it on. Now here's another thing I did. You notice this hole there's a lot of play right there so I put a little bit of masking tape just to keep it level but you still want it you still want it to spin freely and I'm using the glass system and what I did was take a level and just make sure it's level before you start You put it on here. Now I take a piece of tape and tape this rod down so it doesn't move. Then this is an unbalanced prop. You can see how it moves around. A balanced prop will hold its position. Now these props are cheap and flimsy, so you're never probably going to get it 100% balanced. But any improvement you make will help your video quality immensely. I'm going to try and have some clips of before and after. So this is an unbalanced prop. Now I'm not going to really go through the details of how to sand or whatever to get them balanced. I just kind of wanted to show you the process of how I do it. There are many videos on YouTube that will take the high side and sand it down or put scotch tape on the heavy side to get it balanced. I don't really think it matters a whole lot. So here is a balanced prop. Let's put it on there.
Now let's see how this one does. See how it holds its position? That's what you want. It's not going to be a perfect science, but like I said, anything you do will help improve it. Now on this one, I started the sanding part of it, sanded the heavy side. I just kept sanding and sanding, wasn't gaining nothing, so I did the masking tape on the light side, and that's how I balanced this one. And um, when I took it out and did the video test on it, the jello was greatly improved. So, that's the process I use to balance these props. Like I said, uh, I'm going to try and get a video clip of before and after. So, thank you for watching, and uh, happy flying. Good day.